<laughs> oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow! What's this shit? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? I thought this was a comedy game. If I know nothing about this game, I just heard that it is weird, and it's a question mark farmer. I'm gonna farm a lot of question marks. Does she get fucking yeah, C sections? Time for a wild drive. No oh, band. Premonition premonition means like a prediction, right? Is that what that means? What does that word mean? I know that means something. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I might turn on my camera for this. I'm gonna get some reactions out of me. <laughs> Just, it's gonna be that weird. <laughs> What's this laughing, dude? It's not that funny. Where's my camera? There it is. Alright. Is that a trumpet? I was like, what the hell is that noise? What is she looking at? Oh, I thought she was looking at a phone. Dude, what the fuck? Have you seen Twin I played Metal Gear Solid Twin Peaks. Good game. It was an alright game.
Dude, that trump that trumpet's out of tune, I think. It's a little bit. This game had a screenplay. Directed by Swery. Okay. Two whole years, you sack of meat. Shaddix. I love you, buddy. Alright. New game. Oh, what the fuck is this loading screen? Wait, that wasn't the intro? is so loud. Welcome back, Gap Trucks. Thank you. I'm cobalt and raging. I want to hear another story. I don't know if I said hi, but thank uh, you. Yes, of course. You've been waiting it, a this long is so time loud. for this, so... How about a special one? This story is very... It's at minus 16 decibels. Very nasty, but somewhat nostalgic. Do you think you can be a what good is that girl noise? listen all Who's the way to the Clinton end? Bag? Is it a scary story? It That's not the voice be. of a young girl. But... It's also a it's very a fire. <laughs> important story. If you don't want to hear it, dude, I love fire. I can Hold tell on. you a different story. Oh, can crinkle. No, I want to hear it. Ah, yes. This way, I won't be scared. Will you turn on the TV then? When this Leave game comes out, sound down like always. This looks like a PS2 game. Maybe PS3, like early PS3. Now, this is, this is important. At times, we must purge things from this world because the Dude, the music exist. is so loud. Even if it means losing someone that you love. I can't hear him. Thank fuck I can read him, but... Way too dank, dude. Oh shit. What? He's telling me to move. Oh, I look, I look dapper though. York. What is that noise? Oh no, dude. When A, Y is displayed on screen, act with A, observe with Y. Yeah, I fear that much. It's all shaped like a flat man. It has a plate on it, which reads Washington State. A lot of stuff here. A strange clock is ticking away through the room itself, makes you feel as time has stopped. Let's hear what this person has to say. Could you wait just a little longer? What? This won't take long. How did this pass <laughs> testing? <laughs> A white screen. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. What will start soon? Where am I? It's what is about it? time to get started. Is this the best people they could find a voice hack? I'm sure there's more people. They could have hit me up. 
Zack. Zack? Zack, can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Ah, good. I thought you went to sleep. Zach, Wait, what? don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Are we Zach? Okay, Zach. Sure, that's one way of looking at it. But it's totally wrong. You can't transition into this scene. Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. You nasty, cannot... even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Oh my god, dude. Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Hello? Zach, I can't believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, what are those? Oh, happy camper. Even if it ends up being a waste of time, at the very least it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? Crazy. Why did you crazy. you put that cigarette out? It was not even halfway done. I now have a scar to show off. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? I agree. Please don't make another shot from the outside of the car again. Break. What are you doing? How did you go this far into the thing? <laughs> the squirrels made monkey noises as well. <laughs> oh, I really want to have a chat with the sound designer of this game. Or the sound mixer. I, the whole sound team, actually. It's raining, dumbass. Secret's gonna get wet. Zach, there goes the civilized world. I don't like this loading screen. Why am I Zach? I don't think I'm Zach, dude. I think this guy just has a problem. See? Oh god, this is reminding me of Silent Hill. Agent Honor. What the fuck? Weapon and dry with LB. Yeah. 
Holy shit, the frame. Why does the game's frame rate like this? Hold on, isn't it dark for you guys? There we go. Much better. Oh, it's storming. The sky's like red though for some reason. Was that a squirrel? It sounded like a squirrel. Definitely not like a start profiling. What the fuck? Looks like we're being welcomed. Zach, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. What what do you mean? Your dogs. Now I hear a dog dying. Go back. Did I go the wrong way? There are two ways I could go. Your gun was near the car. Do I not have the gun on me? I do. I have the gun. There was another item. I don't see an item. <clears throat> Let's go this way. Oh, we can't. Can't see much of this, but the path might be blocked from the rain. Stay away from obvious danger. That doesn't look like fog, dude. <laughs> Some weird ass fog. Where are we, dude? In Montana? What the fuck is this place? Vermont? All those, all these like nobody states are really good for. Uh... Is that my stamina up there? My stamina goes up when I run. It doesn't go down. It's like reverse. Oh shit, that's blood. Huh? That thing looks like a hellhound. Probably deserved it. My hose of peaceful picnic. Give me a favor, stay sharp, Zach. Dude, Zach isn't. I don't know who you're fucking talking to, but there's no Zach. Oh, it's an innocent girl. She needs help. Maybe I can, we can ask her for directions. Can of pickles. Why? What would what would compel me to pick that up? Can you grab that shovel?
What? Oh shit, she's back. Now we can ask her for directions. Shadow. Quit weapon, drop it, LB, draw it, and aim with R. Draw weapon, lock on with RT. Ask her for direction, dude. Yes. What? We made a Nazi zombie's noise. shot that's good I have a feeling it doesn't matter where I hit him like they, this game doesn't take into account headshots I don't know, it just feels feels like it doesn't lethal as fuck it does okay Why do I have it? Why is that a quick time event? Is this my superpower? I've been through a lot of crazy situations, but that one. That one takes the cake. It's the first time I've been attacked so directly. Zach? Can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Why is he so calm? Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? Can you stop talking to the Zach person? That's kind of creepy. It doesn't exist. Why would I pick this up? I'm an FBI agent. I'm... Hello? Oh, it's saving. Wait, did I save? I don't know what's... I don't know what save. Is it the yellow? Or is it the red? What is the indicator? Whatever, dude. <laughs> All green. <laughs> The white, I it was like going back and forth. Here, why am I using this? Can I just beat him with the stick? Holy shit, what is this? might drink it. I feel like if I get drunk, this this game's is gonna. I'm not gonna get any progress done. Why do I hear multiple footprints? How do you have one of these? There is item durability. How hard am I hitting these things? They're fucking... Wait, 
What is this shit on the ground? Oh, okay. Get fucked, dude. Well, that broke. Good thing I have another one. Wait, is she still alive? No. Can I break the boxes? Would there ever be anything in a box? Or am I just wasting durability? Spoilers. It would have broken there anyways. I know I can break this though. Holy shit. Where did you come from? Got him. Who left all these metals around? No, I will not lower the cost. Because then it gets spammed. It already does get spammed. So many people have that amount of messages. Or that amount of points. They could just spam the chat if they wanted. Cool box. Put item away, take item out. It's like a chest. This generator is broken, dude. This ain't gonna turn on. Why are you pointing? The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Thank you, Shinra. Machine broken by an axe. Time to use my stand. Fuse box. What is that noise? Yeah. Oh, there goes my pipe. I have a knife. box. I know this is not going to do anything, Jibiru, but I'm doing it just for you. There you go. Pipe. Can't break it with a bullet. The answer is yes. of hairy brutes to greet us.
Looks like nothing's broken. This is the same mod. I think I can fix it. I need bullets, dude. Or pipes. Give me more pipes. There's a big dude over there. I am gone. Can they follow me? Hello? Why can they teleport now? Why well, it take so long to die? Something over there. I don't want you to say anything, Beef. It's okay. Now one bullet left. What is this? Oh, it's Agent Honor. Okay. I'm gonna have to shank this dude. There has to be a weapon around here somewhere. Ow. Brad, it's like two buttons to attack. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, auto bullets? Is that the thing, same bullets I use? No, it's not. Reload. Oh, shit. I have infinite bullets. I just never reloaded. Oh shit, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Amazing. Amazing. He cast himself on my back. Are these enemies infinite? Can you not? Yes. They take so long to die. He's like, wait, okay, alright, fine, I guess. Let me pick this up. I can't, I, he, it's, the game still thinks he's there, okay. Enemies just infinite really spawn there, so kinda over it. Great. 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 
What the fuck? That was so quick. What was the point of that? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Dude, I don't expect quick time events in a game like this. It comes out of nowhere. Thank you, botanist. You got red ivy. Okay, now I know there's gonna be a quick event here. It's gonna tell me to. Oh, I guess it just does it automatically. There, now I know the entire thing that happened. I know the whole story. There was a little bit of hunger. I have hunger. There's definitely something in this town. <laughs> really? Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Your coffee? Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. I think, I think this guy has a little bit of a problem. He has schizophrenia, or he has something. Five hundred and ten yards. Okay, the range just stopped, and not. I'm walking in literal. Fuck is that noise, dude? Feels like I'm walking in ankle deep water. Oh, time to run. What do I use the money for? Not a single car on the road. How do you know those were ducks, dude? Squirrels made monkey noises earlier. Now you were very late. Oh, I lost. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. <laughs> You're not gonna tell her about anything else? Hello? Get a fight through zombies? Okay, relax. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. S settle down, Sim. About what happened back there. Why not? You're a psycho. Stop talking to yourself. Maybe she won't want that. Stop talking to yourself. Welcome. 
I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. I love these sitcom intros where like time George stops. <laughs> Please just call me York. That's what everyone. Oh my to. god. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors are clear this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profile sample. But I need you to understand that. Hello? Of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well, then. I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. I told you to call me York. Investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshipper to appreciate the wildlife. Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the middle. Stop is. talking to yourself. Just That's so embarrassing, dude. Whoa. Um, they just leave me? What's my rank? I'm just, I don't know, I'm an agent. Previously during the investigation, Zach view. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another. I was joking. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenville. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. <laughs> There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me. It did a fucking promo. <laughs> it's broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies. Things on, right? on the PC. I love movies too. I've never been to a movie theater though. It was a hassle to get the controller to work, but I got it to work. That's the same dog sound from Stalker. Everything's fucked up now. Sugar donut. It's 
my coffee. Angel Isaac. Hello? What? What do you want? Okay. Breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. Just kill it. I've killed so many of those. Hey, can you pick up the pace? I kind of have lungs here. I kind of am actually real, and you're just a figment of my imagination, but I kind of actually have lungs. Move. Move. Dude, what the fuck? I can't believe that kid made me hold my breath that long. We stood there. Who are you? Why is it so echoey? I'm you. This the the slowest fade to white I have ever seen. Damn, this is a huge bed. The symbolism in my dreams continues Bro, to intensify. A cigarette first thing in the morning. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll. And twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. The audio in this game is really weird. Should to the cafeteria, Zach. That was in my left ear. I have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? Yep, that was in my left speaker as well. That's not my. Don't blame me for the audio issues this time. Oh shit. It doesn't let me change. Oh, there we go. 
Nice. I can sleep again. Wait a second. I can shave? What is that buzzing? Is that the AC? Oh, you get money for shaving. No, because the buzzing is still going. Okay. Kind of weird. We go to the lobby for coffee? Or what? Mr. Morgan, your breakfast is ready for you. Your posture check. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right? That table is huge. Yes. Yes. It's delicious, Polly. What the fuck? My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. What is that gesture? She Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. What? I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. What? So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. What? And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. Well, I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly. I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. <laughs> it's it's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the top guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. 
If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zack, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. Stop. You might know this already, but the town is called Greenvale. It rains here quite often, but it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. Now the shit's in my right ear. It used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I bet you it's... To hearing it then. Oh. Anything else you'd like to know about? What? Why did I just cut? <laughs> yes, actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The A&G Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. <laughs> I agree, fairy cake. Bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. I don't care much for either. The fucking director fucking putting his name in the game. Folk. We also have a gas stand, of course. The art gallery and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. What? What was that dance? Look with interest. Did you see that, Zach? What? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. it never fails. Now then, let's get going. <laughs> Dude, I'm the bad guy. I'm somehow the killer. There's no way that I'm a sane person. There's no way that I am sane. She made all this food and no one fucking lives here? for the gift sub. Appreciate it. You got a play D4. It was a spiritual successor made by same guy who made this. Really short though because it was stopped after season one. It's a very good game to stream. D4? Is that the only thing it's called? Dark dreams don't die. 
Well, if it's easily playable, then I'd do it. A police car. Technically a sheriff car, but okay. So, we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. You amaze the me, keys dude. were left on the front hood. In the literal sense of the word. Nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Boost, brake, reverse. Oh my god. Accelerate with RB? Really? Honk, steer. Wipers on, wipers off. Sig? I can signal. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office. Where I... If you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Okay. Let's try that again. We'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. What is the sound? It's the br I'm hitting every button, Yasa. After is your window sound set the stereo or 5.1? I don't know. Do I have to change my entire sound? Why is my windshield? Because I hit every button hoping it was going to stop it. Open sound settings.
We're almost there. As fuck, do you need to patch it? Is this gonna destroy my save file? That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. What We've the been fuck? You. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... Well... I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... Uh, I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Why does he Zach run like Thomas that? appears to be the kind and sensitive type. <laughs> a simp. Totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Okay, let's see if I can get this to work. Next time I run to a save, I'm gonna try to patch this game. This is a save right here. Oh, I can, okay. This is a weird ass pause screen. All right. Please hold while I fix this. Happy, happy New Year, Zach. Wait, this is this says just for controller. I did I just saved. My audio is in stereo, which is weird.
How do I set it to 5.1? Where do I do that? I don't think I've ever seen that option. Windows 10. Okay, and the sounds window now we just playback tab. No. I wonder if this works. No. Fuck it, dude. We might have to just do the thing. We just have to play with the fucking weird ass car. I don't see any things on the settings either. Weird ass car it is. <clears throat> There's so many splash screens wait restart zoom from the last save point These puppies are making. No, we get it. Okay, we're back. Kitchen room. I can shave here. It's kind of weird. Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? I kept it. I don't know where, but I kept it. Hello? Send me a gift. Okay, thank you, Yasa. Yeah, I just took their fucking the entire fridge just held that one little tiny turkey sandwich
Oh shit. And yours too. My fridge doesn't have any meals in it. I just have snacks sometimes. You found the key. Is this the one you were looking for? <laughs> uh, no. This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. Why is it so much louder? You can find listen. them in the U.S., Canada, and in England too. A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. It just cuts off. What's what's with these policemen and squirrels? Do I have to bring him every single one? So I can get more squirrel facts? You found the key. You found the I key. So. Is this forward it? dash. Forward slash. More scroll facts, dude. Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. <laughs> you sure do know a lot about squirrels. <laughs> it cuts off. What the fuck? Psh, this guy doesn't know his squirrel. Guys, psh, psh, everyone, all the policemen are laughing at me. <laughs> Imagine not knowing your squirrels. Ah, uh, look at this guy. He doesn't know his squirrels. Oh shit. Hello. Hi. <laughs> He's lost the key to the cabinet with the files and asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. I hope that doesn't take too long. Any squirrel fuckers around here? Out every day? Uh, of course, Sadie Morgan. <laughs> My God. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. Oh, I can move the camera. Okay, He's thank a God. Buddy of mine. <laughs> His partner <laughs> Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will you? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. Oh, 
Why does it sound like Bowser's theme? Okay. Oh, it's a mirror. Something about it. We have to discover. We have to figure out who the killer is. The homicide. Check the weather. This weather's good, but it might rain in the evening. Do I get fourteen dollars checking the weather? Man, this would be easy being an FBI dude. You have money for everything. Can't leave now. fuck is this key dude I can equip my weapons here for some reason. Oh. We found it. Is that not the, it's not the key? Why can I why can I just go into the jail cells? This shouldn't be allowed. I can sleep here. What the fuck? Fucking money, a medal. Dude, I'm I'm ready for some more squirrel facts. Give me some more scroll facts, dude. I'm glad he I'm glad he's hard at work looking for the key as well. You found the key. I hope this is the right one. I <laughs> can't see what the fuck that is. You found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. <laughs> Not even a squirrel. Here, the, here it is, dude. This has to be it. You found the key. That's the right one. Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. 
Okay, I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> well, I'm Zach, so happy. Here and we've cracked a big case already. I was so happy to get that fucking scroll key. <laughs> the victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. <laughs> I get it, anagram. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. What? Am I insane? City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh my! What was that noise? Oh, I thought someone right. died. <laughs> you are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. Oh no! I don't want to be in the car anymore. This is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. I'm still in love with this biscuit. I'm very particular about my coffee. I'm very particular about biscuits as well. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent beep, Morgan. Beep, your involvement in this beep, case beep. is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 21. The, the audio just, the song just cut out. Beef was right. There's like two songs in this game. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Here we go. Chat, close your ears. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Sure, sounds good. Close your ears, chat. Where are we going? It's so slippery.
the fuck do we get out of this town? Oh fuck. We're good. Fuck it, dude. Relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women. You might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully, like a thin crystal wine glass. I'm gonna die, dude. I have gas? I need to turn on so I can put in gas? Almost there, chat. That's a pretty big hospital. I guess they wanted to be ready for uh, town-wide food poisoning. No, no, it's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. What to imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it goes. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. Dude, I, everyone's so nonchalant about sitting out in the rain. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. And that's why this case is our problem. It really is. He <laughs> does like to touch that. Involved. By the way, hat. By the way. Ew. Frickly Fiona, yikes. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. The computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you. Of course you. there'd be a computer room in a hospital. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Smash or pass? I'd smash. Did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town were How did you know it was FBI? Oh, I thought you still had the fucking raincoat on. Besides, that scar on. in your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread. Even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You 
haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the US, a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. Oh, wow. Everyone feels the seditious, heinous, evil still lurking, alive. Oh. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I'm on a dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain. And it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. Okay. Give me any money. Give me the weather. What is that noise, dude? Oh no, I can't smoke. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer, and a car key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. Ah, yes. The knight takes a pawn. Of course. Queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Knight passes rook and meets bishop. King knight takes a pawn to the queen. Okay, this isn't chess. What's happening? I thought it was going to make me play chess, but it's not. Tell me to put these in order. The king passes a rook and meets bishop. No, wait. What the fuck? Knight takes a pawn to the queen. Okay, so rook is first. Rook, king, bishop. Knight, pawn, queen. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. King, knight, pawn, rook, bishop, queen. Okay. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Try doing on the order on the wall. King passes rook. It meets bishop. Rook has to be first. Because the king goes past the rook. You did it different than you said. Okay, king passes the rook, so rook is first. Bam. King passed it. And it meets the bishop. That's the bishop. And the knight takes a pawn to the queen.
Pawn is the road between knight and queen. What the f- how does that make sense? It said king passes rook, but king is before rook at that time. The doctor That's stupid. The deceased. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where nipple combo is on who got it right. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. Card key for underground floor. You go underground somehow. There's stairs here? No. Oh, here they are. And the music cut. What's up with the frame rate in this game? I have to agree. Something is up with the frame rate. a body in there what should we do Zach he's right there Try changing setting. It didn't give me much to change. Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Usher Johnson. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We don't have much time. 
We need those autopsy results. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. The monarch. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. <laughs> Which means... She was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Okay. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Oh, well, nice. I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that, or a truly hardcore sadist. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. He watched as the blood pumped from her body as she gradually grew cold. This dude gets way into detail. The case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usha, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. Okay. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Oh, God. Wearing fake fingernails. Traces of evaporated liquid around the eyes.
<laughs> Fairy cake? From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zack, it's all starting to come together. The no, it's not. Stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? I'm very passionate, yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Ah, the perpetrator bit off Anna's tongue. Damn. We'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. Yo, relax. Jackpot, Zack. It's a shame, but our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Oh. George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. What a chad, dude. Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen, then your knight takes rook, and checkmate. Huh? <laughs> oh. Five head, of course. Oh, my first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. York, turn around. There's something, something there, dude. Zach, they're here. Who is here, dude? Can't buy ammo, no. Zach, they're here. A normal day dude oh great I hope all the bodies in the morgue come to life that'd be really funny 
<laughs> oh god, I lost, dude. Now, why can I open these now? I thought you said we didn't open them if we didn't need to. And now we need to? Oh shit, I'll take that action. Who's breathing? Ah, yes, I love the 10 FPS woman, dude. This is why you shouldn't smoke. Oh, I forgot you shoot with fucking... Fucking, uh, right bumper. Kind of weird. Oh God. Get it off. <laughs> what is that sound effect? <laughs> wow, 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 dude. I, I hope the hot nurses don't choke me. You seen the, the, the nurses from Silent Hill, the zombies from Silent Hill? Those are kind of hot, dude. Like, real talk? Fucking Nazi zombie sound. Amazing. Amazing. Hey, can you move? Push. Why can I push this? Okay. Welcome back, Jiburi. Fucking teleporting. Amazing. I'm so calm. I love this. Amazing. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you can break them for stuff. Break what? Oh, the boxes? I don't have any weapons. Any melee weapons. I don't have a knife. I'd love a pipe, but I don't have one. Boxes. Shoot them. Hey, stop crying. I don't have infinite bullets. I have infinite durability. Who's teleporting? Yes. <laughs> 
Good shot. There's so many, dude. It's a perfect time to pick up a coffee. Look underneath. I guess. Great, dude. Fucking amazing. Can't really run past them. Their hitbox is like huge. They actually have a long grab range. Great. But they die in one place hit to the head, so it's okay. Got a lab key card. Now we really want to play Tarkov. Now we're good. I can sleep. Stabilizer. Yeah, I want some more scroll facts. Great. Now even the police are affected. I hear stuff behind me, but there's nothing actually behind me.
It was probably the biscuit, honestly. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> hmm? That's the weirdest thing? Here! Over here! <laughs> you bitch. You baiting me? Gimme, give gimme. Give you can't keep this item anymore. You should clean up your inventory. Okay. What's all my inventory? Move to the toolbox. Okay, that's cool. You can put it to storage. MRI room? Brain scanning? It is just a band-aids. Where did this bitch go? I don't have, do I have the key card to this? So that's what I thought. Bitch said to follow her. She went this way. Can I shoot this stuff? No. Push that crate against the wall. Not sure what that's supposed to do, Kiwi. Away from the wall? I can't. I can't pull. I can only push. This one kind of is kind of 
kind of weird. Actually, you know what? Just use the knife for this. One crack. Okay, there's nothing there. Must have been something I missed in the MRI room. You see something shining in the back? Oh, we need to retract the bed then. Better be the key card. It's a lot of keys just to do that. Now there's going to be monsters in there. That's how these games work. Beep. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. He has a shotgun. He has an assault rifle. Now what? Can we not get their shotgun? Twelve gauge shotgun shells. Okay. That's cool and all. <sighs> what happened? I wasn't done in that room. My game's not responding.
I think my game crashed. We have a save just like there, so it's fine. But I can't even close the game. Oh, there it is. Yeah, game crashing is horror, all right. It's horrible. The real horror is how fucking bad this port is. I might have to Google some fixes for this port and continue playing it another day. Cause I like the weirdness of the game. It's got it's got this like awkward screenplay. It's nice. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making Yeah, it's weird. I like it. I like weird stuff. It is similar-ish to Silent Hill, and I do like Silent Hill games. I played all those games. Okay, thanks, dude. <laughs> I'll be careful. I can skip all the animations. Okay, we're back here. Okay. Can't skip this though. We never see that third zombie come out, we just see the table flip. So the camera position is terrible. A little teleporting. Maybe I can shoot him again? I don't know if you can shoot him again after I kill him. Okay, what's over here, first of all? That's a first aid kit, okay. Oh no, it's <laughs> happening again. Please don't crash. A little bit more. Okay, it crashed again. It just freezes. What am I gonna do? Is it- is this on the Switch? Should I just get this on the Switch? I'll get back to this point and stream it another day? I don't know.
Switch version aiming is awful. It can't be. I mean, I'm using a controller. It can't be any worse. Okay. It it didn't crash. It just says not responding. So I'm going to leave it for like a minute or two. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Hopefully, if it doesn't work by then, I don't fucking know, dude. Still nothing. Damn. You play more dreams games? Maybe. I'm hoping to fix that for a or save that for like a really rainy evening. Playing in Windows ninety eight compatibility mode? Okay. We'll try that. I'll try that. Game I brought bought you recently? What game did you buy me recently? What? Uh, let's see if this works. Compatibility. Windows 98. Okay. Requires elevation. I'm just going to run as admin, run both as admin. Okay. Oh God. Now it's like in a different, that's weird. Like the border's like Windows 98 now. Like the window, the minimize, maximize, and X button is like Windows 98 style. Oh, Baba is you, I remember. Is that a puzzle game though? It's a mind fuck. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the blue. These puppies. Okay. Oh shit, I don't know you can do that. Some kind of like coping method. Hmm? 
That's his heartbeat. God. Yes. Yes. Oh god, the aiming's even worse now. Yes. Amazing. Hold on. Hello. Yeah, yeah, let him through, please. Thank you. Someone ordered pizza. Not for me. Okay, before I go into flashback mode. There we go. <gasps> it worked. Agent Morgan, if you're so desperate, then why not smoke two at once? It What the fuck? Who's that old man? That's Harry. Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. But he's a weird one, as I'm sure you can see. Always dressed like that, never speaking to the townsfolk. And just FYI, he owns almost the entire town. Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. Mysterious capitalist. <laughs> Mr. Francis York Morgan, haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stu. Nice to meet you too. How did you know my name? Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information too. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. Mr. Francis York Morgan, with each rain, our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. So, so says, says Mr. Mr. Stewart. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. Then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Morgan. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it any thought. It's all gibberish. Emily here. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Agent York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. I was just about to ask if you could take me there. This game's frame rate is so bad. It got even worse when I switched to the compatibility mode.
The body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's west from here, and too far to walk. Oh no, Forest not again. Park. It's the pride of the town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. I should have just bought it on PS3, dude. <laughs> Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. Oh, God. This is unplayable, dude. found on his body during a morning walk. So you've talked to them already? Not officially. Not yet. <laughs> you let it your mind? I'm gonna go insane, dude. Gonna lose it. I should have just got it for PS3, dude. I should always get the games in which they were intended for. I should stop trying to cut shortcuts by getting it on PC. It never works. Especially retro games. Previously, during the investigation, oh God, it's not resp it crashed on startup. It crashed on startup, dude. This is broken. This is actually broken. Play D4. I don't have time to switch to another game right now, dude. Or start another game. And you're telling me this is the same people and you got it to me on Steam, so it's going to have the same problems?
Damn, dude. What the fuck am I gonna do? The fuck is this shit? I'll watch the game together. <laughs> I might get it for PS3 and just get back to that point. Cause I'm only I'm only like a f one chapter in. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> 